Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do a few things for your Echelon. The first thing I'm gonna show you is how to remove the striker assembly, and then I'm gonna show you how to, to disassemble your striker assembly. And the last thing I wanna show you is how to remove the extractor for your Echelon. Keep in mind this video is strictly for maintenance and repair only. Before we get started, I'd like to ask everybody please subscribe and tell a friend about the channel. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. Now let's get on with the video. So the things you're gonna need to perform this, you're gonna need a cleaning tool like this. This is made out of polymer. And the reason why I like to use these is because the striker assembly, the sleeve on it is made out of polymer. So if you use a polymer tool, there's less chances of you marring up the striker sleeve. If you don't have one of these, I will put a link in the description to show you where you can pick one of these up. But if you're in a pinch and you need to do this and you only have a punch, you can use a punch to do this. This one is 5 64ths punch. And the last thing you're gonna need is optional. So this is a rag. So the reason why it's optional, this I find helps people who have weaker hand strength to compress the spring for the striker assembly. So again, optional, you don't need this, but just figured I'd show you how to use it. As you can see here, I already have the pistol field stripped. If you need help getting to this point right here, click on the link to the top right hand corner. That'll take you to a video showing you how to field strip your echelon. Once you're done, come back to this video and follow along. So we're going to pick the slide up and then we're going to take our tool and we're going to put the tool right on top of this square piece. We're going to push down, but we're also going to slightly tilt the tool this way. So this way, uh, this back plate will start to get pushed to the right. So I also, just so I don't accidentally try to slide the plate off all the way really fast, I put my finger on this side to at least give it a little bit more pressure so this way it doesn't fly off. So again, we're gonna put that tool on that square. We're gonna compress downward like this, and then we're gonna tilt like that. And you can see right there that the back plate has now moved to the right. So now that we have the striker sleeve over here captured further down, we can move the back plate completely off. But what you wanna do is you wanna keep your thumb over this circle right here and this area right here. The reason why you wanna keep your thumb over this area and here is because once you remove the back plate, a lot of this stuff is under spring tension and it could just fly right out. You don't wanna get hit in the eye with anything and also you don't wanna lose anything either. So so what I like to do is keep my thumb over everything and then slide this back plate to the right. So it's gonna look something like this. So I'm sliding the back plate off. You can hear that click. That was the extractor spring hitting my thumb and then completely remove the back plate. And you heard that other click and that was the striker sleeve right here hitting my thumb. So this next part, same thing, this little piece right here, you're gonna compress that downward, but again, you're gonna keep your thumb on this whole area. And the reason why, again, is because this extractor spring is still under tension and caught with this. So as soon as you push this little plunger downward, you're gonna release that pressure and this part right here, this extractor spring can go flying out. So I'll show you, I'm gonna push down on this. Like, listen, you hear that? That was me releasing the pressure and this came out and hit my thumb. It actually hits it pretty hard. It doesn't hurt, but it just, you can feel the authority that it comes flying out. So now that we have the extractor spring out, now we can remove the extractor right here. All you gotta do is just tilt it, jiggle it a little bit, boom, comes right on out. Set that aside. Next, what we do is we still push this in. We put our thumb on this silver part right here, and we're gonna push outward once we compress this piece. So again, I put my finger over this area just in case so it doesn't come flying out. There you go, it hit my finger. So now, since the pressure has been released, I can just use my thumb and slide this piece out. There you go. Once we have the Striker assembly out, set this aside, and now slowly remove the pressure with your thumb for this plunger. And now you can take the plunger out and you can see the spring is attached to it. You don't have to take that off, just set this aside. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna disassemble the striker assembly. So you could use a armor's block but this one's pretty thin. If I was to use this on an armor's block, the one that I have, it doesn't really fit, it's too loose. 
So instead of using a armor's block, I just use the slide. So how I do that is I put a little piece of electrical tape on the back here so this way it doesn't get marred up. I take the striker assembly. This sleeve, part of the sleeve, goes into this hole. This part of that sleeve, this piece right here, will go into this channel right here. And then this part, this silver part, will go right over where the electrical tape is. And it'll look something like this. So you can see it like this, putting it into that hole. That piece goes into that channel. The silver part is right on the back, right near the iron sights. And that's it. Okay, so now I have the camera in a better position. I forgot to mention this too. If you don't want to use your slide to hold the striker assembly like this, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You can basically put this part right here. You can rest this on the table. The reason why I don't do that is because sometimes when you're resting this piece on the table, it can slide depending the texture on your table. At this point, this is the part where if you had weak hand strength, you would use this rag. And so basically what you would do is you would wrap the rag around as high up on to the spring as possible and then you would compress the spring down to take those two cups off. I don't need the rag, I just wanted to show this for people who have weak hand strength. I'm not going to use that for the video. Next, what we need to do is we need to take our fingers, grab the spring from here, and then compress it downward. Uh, the whole point of doing this is so this black collar right here, these are two cups they call them. And so basically the two cups meet together like this and they form one collar underneath this piece of the striker. And then that collar also goes underneath the spring as you can see right here. So what we have to do is we have to compress the spring and then we have to remove the two cups here and here. We have to remove those two cups from underneath this spring. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna just grab the spring from up high like this. I'm gonna compress downward and then with this hand I'm going to remove the two cups. So I'm going to compress this down. Here's the first cup and here is the second cup like that and then release the pressure and then you can take the spring off and then you can take this whole piece out of the slide. At this point what you can do is take the plastic sleeve off and then you have this little spring here, this very light spring. You could take that off. You could set that aside. And that's it. You have successfully removed and disassembled your striker assembly for your echelon. So now we're going to put everything back together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this little spring back on. And it doesn't matter which side goes on first because it's all the same. Next, we're going to take the striker sleeve. This part right here is going to be facing to the left. All right just like this. This part will be facing downward. On this side, this piece will be facing up. And it gets inserted just like this. Okay, and we're gonna slide that sleeve all the way to the rear, just like that. And this piece right here, let me slide this out so you can see it better. This piece right here is gonna be right in this area of the sleeve, okay? I know it might be a little hard to see it on the camera, but you get the gist. It kind of fits perfectly in there. Then what you're going to do is, at this point, we're going to put the spring back onto the striker, just like that, holding it like this. I'm going to put it back into the rear of the slide. Turn around like this. This piece, again, gets inserted to this area like we had it before, just like that. This metal piece is going to be pointing towards the iron sights. And because this little spring is here, this part's not naturally going to be pushed down further. So it's going to be really high up like this. But now that we have the striker assembly back into the slide, as you could tell, if I was just to let this go, you could see it's just going to, you know, fall out. So you really want to make sure that you're holding everything together just like this. And at this point, we're going to have to take this spring and we're gonna to have to compress it downward. And we're gonna to have to compress it to get below this lip of the striker, okay? And the reason why is because these cups have to go underneath it like this. And once they're underneath like that, the spring will be under this area and it'll be captured 
So it'll be between here and here of the striker assembly. So I know that might sound a little confusing, but you'll see that what I'm talking about as I do it. So again, I have everything in place with the striker. Now I'm gonna take my spring, and it doesn't matter what side goes on first, and I'm gonna compress it down and start putting the cups in. I'm gonna take the first cup and pop that in. Now take the other cup, put it on the other side, just like this, and then I'm gonna to start to release the pressure, just like that. Take it out of the slide, and there we go. It is installed correctly. So as you're installing everything, uh, things may move around a little bit down here. And basically what you wanna do is, you wanna make sure that it looks like this, where the long part is facing up. In this orientation, it's facing up. And then this part right here is facing to the left. And then this part that's inside there is against this area of the sleeve, just like that. And you'll see if you compress it, it moves smoothly and it's not, it doesn't feel weird. Now that we have the striker assembly put back together, I'm gonna to change the camera angle again so this way I can finish putting everything else back together. The first thing we're gonna to do to reinstall everything is we're gonna take our extractor and we're gonna install that. So there's this part, this little circle is gonna go into that circle right there. And then also this piece this piece right here is gonna go underneath this part of the slide. It's gonna look something like this. So here's the little piece, it goes underneath. I'm gonna swing this over, push it upward like that, and then it's gonna fit just like this. You can see it just falls right into place. And there you have your extractor where it needs to be. Next, we're gonna take our plunger, this little piece right here, goes into this hole right here first, and it's gonna be in this orientation. So this side with the thicker part is gonna be facing to the left. The real thin shaved off part will be facing to the right. And it's gonna go in just like this, just like that. And you can see you could push it in easily with your thumb. Again, it's gonna be in that orientation. So it's gonna look just like this. Once I let my thumb go, it's gonna move a little bit, but again, you can turn it a little bit just to make sure it's in the right position when you need to. Now we have all that set up. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install the extractor spring. So this is the top part that has a little circle. The bottom has this little lip that kind of sticks out. That's gonna go in first, and it's gonna go into this hole right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our thumb and we're gonna make sure this little plunger is in the right position, just like it is right now. We're gonna compress it with our thumb, just like that. Take this piece and insert it to this hole, just like this, okay? And then when you turn this over, if you look into this area right here, you're gonna see that little piece that was sticking out. It's gonna go right into place, you see that? So now we can let our thumb go of the plunger, and now we can install the striker assembly. This part of the striker assembly goes into this hole, and it goes in first, but this part of the striker assembly goes into this channel right here, okay? So it's gonna look something like this. So that part goes in first. This piece that's sticking out that way is gonna go facing up, and then once you get to the point where you start feeling resistance, you're gonna put your thumb back over this little plunger, you're gonna push this in, and then you're gonna push the striker assembly further down. Keep in mind, if you get stuck, like right in this area, the one thing that could be off, the spring right here has to be flush with this plastic sleeve. So if the spring is slightly off like this, the striker assembly won't be able to get insert it all the way down, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna double check the sleeve and the spring, and you wanna make sure that it's flush like that all the way around, okay? That's how it should look. So again, put this back into this hole right here, just like this. Put our thumb on that little plunger, push down, start to insert. There it goes, again, pointing out that this piece, this metal piece that was sticking upward is now in this channel push down on the plunger, and then push 
the striker in as far as it'll go. And there you go. Now we have the striker assembly in as far as it's gonna go right now. Now what we could do is we can turn this up like this and we can start to install the back plate. So this part of the back plate and this part of the back plate will get inserted to this area and this area. Also, the back plate that goes on this side will also need to go into this area right here of the extractor spring. So we have to make sure that the extractor spring, the opening is facing to the left like that. We're gonna take the back plate and I take this side right here and I put it over this area right here of the striker sleeve, just like this. And I basically compress, I use my thumb to push on the back plate to compress the striker sleeve downward. Once I get the striker sleeve pushed down far enough, then I'll rotate the back plate like this and I'll push it inward. And I'll show you what it looks like. So again, I'm putting the back plate onto this area of the striker sleeve. I'm compressing just like that. I know it's hard to see because my thumb is there, I'm rotating, but now it's captured, okay? So that's how it looks. It's in the areas I pointed out earlier. Let me rotate this just slightly more. Okay, so now it's straight. All I have to do is push it in further this way, but before I can do that, I have to compress this piece downward, okay? And the reason why is, like I said, I have to get this opening in this area right here, so this way the back plate can get pushed all the way in and capture this piece too. So how I do that is I put the plastic tool right into this little circle and I put it in like this and I compress it downward. Once this area right here, the top part, is flush with the slide, then I can take one of my fingers and push the back door plate further this way. Okay, so I wanted to change the angle again. I wanted to make sure you can see the extractor spring will become flush with the rear of the slide, and then I can push the back plate upward. Okay, so take the uh, tool, put it on top of the extractor spring. I'm gonna compress it downward. Now that you can see that it's flush, I'm gonna push forward on the back plate, and that captures the extractor spring, and it also captures the striker assembly sleeve right in this area. If you need help putting everything back together, use that same video that you used in the beginning to field strip. It'll show you how to put everything back together and then you can come back here and you can follow along for the rest of the video. So now I like to perform a function test. I grip the echelon like this, turn it over, push forward with this hand, with this hand, grab the slide from here, rack it once, point the echelon in a safe direction, pull the trigger and hold the trigger. And now rack the slide one more time and then slowly release the pressure on the trigger and hear the reset. Hear the reset, point the echelon in a safe direction, pull the trigger once more. There you go. Everything seems to be functioning properly, so we are good to go. If you thought the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and tell a friend about the channel. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.